it's Caroline here from Useful Graphic Design Tutorials. It's great that you've joined me for this video and this is a series of two videos and this one is part one and what we're going to do is show you how to create your own paisley pattern pretty much like you see on the screen now um, like this one here I've just actually made it into a sort of a little patchwork pattern by duplicating and changing some colors there but that's what we're going to end up with in this particular video I'm going to show you how to bring in the paisley shapes that I've created and to color them and then the second part of the video is taking you through how to create the background and placing the shapes on the background and then saving it all so it's two videos to how to do this and this is the easy way I'm also going to create another video showing you how to make the paisley shapes themselves with GIMP but that's for another day so let's get cracking on this we're going to be using Inkscape to do this if you haven't used Inkscape before uh, don't worry you will be able to follow along with this tutorial because we're going to go step by step you can get Inkscape from Inkscape.org and I'm using version 0.48.4 which is the latest version but if you're just using 0.48 don't worry uh, you're going to be fine to use that so the first thing to do is to import the six shapes that I've got now I'm going to make the, the paisley shapes freely available to you obviously as a zipped file but it's, as it's only a very small one uh, if you would like me to send them to you if you could leave your name in the comments at the bottom of this post we will send them immediately out so let's assume that that has happened and you've downloaded them and unzipped them onto your computer first thing we want to do is to bring them into Inkscape and we'll do that by going up to file import and this very nicely happens to open where they're located just double click on the image this dialog box will appear the default is embed and that's what you want so click OK and there you have the first one and that's in PNG format now um, you don't want to see me going through and uh, bringing all of them in so I'll just pause the video there for the moment okay so I've now imported the six shapes yeah, here they are you can see them here and let's just work with one at a time this is now a PNG file and if you click on any of the colors at the bottom here let's say the red it, it won't change the color and that's because it's PNG and therefore we have to change it to vector if you want to change the color of the shapes which I guess that most people will want to do how to do that is to make sure that the shape is selected go over to sh select and transform and click on the shape just click once and then go up to path then trace bit math and what we're going to do here is we're going to tell Inkscape to scan this shape and copy it in effect so the settings that I suggest you use is to click on the greys because it's black and white if you had a color image then you would click on the colors uh, toggle the stack scans toggle the remove background and I think four scans is going to be sufficient for this so if we click update and then OK it's very quickly doing those scans and now what we've got is two shapes on top of one another so we want to separate them and do that by just grabbing hold and using the left um, mouse just drag away now to check that that is um, vector and we can change the color just click on that red again and you'll see it's now changed the color so let's get rid of that to avoid confusion so that's really all you need to do with all of them is convert them to a vector shape and I have just happened to have done that over here um, previously I'm going to stop the video shortly and because this is now what yeah five minutes but um, you can play around with the various colors that you want there and I'll give you the color that I've chosen when I come back so we'll stop there for the moment and I'll see you next in the second part where we'll create the background place the shapes on the background and then save it <laughs> 